Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? That's Trish is dying to know. I am dying to know. Hi guys. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you, Trish? <laughs> Do you really want to know? Yeah, are you feeling as uh, I am tired and exhausted as me? There's one word to describe how I'm feeling <laughs> and it's absolutely. And why is that? We did a 30k run this morning. Oh. It was hell on earth. Like it was, hurt. Oh, it was horrendous. <laughs> there were tears. There were swooping birds. Dogs. There dogs. There were, you name it, we had it. And <laughs> we both need new shoes, so our legs hurt. They're aching now. Oh. Anyway, whinge, whinge, whinge. Yeah. As our husbands keep saying, well, you keep doing it. You yeah. choose to do it. Why do you do it if you hate it? <sighs> today was hard it was very difficult yes and we just collapsed for coffee while our husbands went and uh, got the coffee and we're like oh my god i want to go to sleep now <laughs> so we're going to do a bit of filming and then i think we're both going to toddle off and have a little nap yes, but anyway are. hello how are you all now yeah. that we've got that out of our system <laughs> you understand if we look a bit glazed yeah um yes and talk a bit funny you're yeah. going like oh okay yeah so we've got an interesting one to talk about today. Yeah, which one we're talking today? We're talking about the natural burial. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, so that's yes, that, yes. I, I, it's close to my heart. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. And we've done videos on natural <coughs> burial before. I'll point to them up here. I'll point yep. to it up there because I think there's only one. Yeah. Back in the days when we were chatting to Tim. Yes, that's Hi, right. Hi, Tim, yeah. if you're watching. Yeah, hi, Tim. Um, so, yeah, maybe if we could give people a little bit of background about the specifications around a natural burial and what you have to do in the mortuary to prepare someone. Mm. It, um, it, it's just the, you know, the basic preparation that we do for a natural burial, but it, the burial is happening in the place... Where we were. Where we filmed. Right. Yeah. So, so it's happening in that gorgeous natural land, you know, where it's all overgrown and... You know, the graves aren't marked and stuff like that. It's so. an area behind an existing yes. cemetery. Yes, And it's that's got right. a plaque as you walk in that shows right. the names of the people. That's but right. then you don't know where they are. And yes. I think the family gets a coordinate. Yeah, the family get the GPS coordinates of where the body's buried. So they know where to go and all of that kind of thing. But yes, it's, it is in that uh, you've got your, your what we call the normal burial Plots with the gravestones and you know all manicured that. lawns and yeah, all the biz and all that and then just a nice little walk and it's a gorgeous walk through. You've got the more wild, natural, you know, overgrown. You know, it's in among the trees and the grass grown over and everything. And so. because the soil's been disturbed, you can see the pioneer species start to come up. So it's yeah. sort of different sort of bushland to everywhere else because it's been disturbed. So the bracken here in Australia will start first yeah. and the grasses and then eventually the birds come and they poo and leave the seeds and the trees start growing and yeah. it all sort of regenerates back into natural bushland. Yeah, but, so it just gets covered. It yeah. looks wild and natural in like in a nice natural um it's like a little rainforesty thing isn't it it's beautiful yeah. it's a beautiful place and it's really nice and peaceful quiet isn't it and calm mm. and it's off the beaten track isn't it? it's a bit yeah. out of the way it's you know it's like not right in the city or a town and it's so beautiful so the the first thing we need to do is obviously with a natural burial i'm gonna sit back and relax i may have a sleep yeah <laughs> with a natural burial obviously we can't be dressing the person in clothes like these kind of things because this is not natural fibers and things like that so we need to order the natural shroud you know so the shroud that we've got is the hemp kind of shroud that will biodegrade over time so it's a similar one to the sea burial i was just going to ask you that yeah. yeah it's very similar it feels and looks very similar and if you haven't seen our sea burial video oh. go and look at it there because i think that's one of the most beautiful ones we've done yeah that's just that's a beautiful one yeah. so moving yeah but yeah, anyway we digress yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah it's very similar to um the the one that the lady was dressed in on the sea burial the sea burial one though if you remember when we did that and showed that is the shroud was attached to that big board, board, the wooden board, which is a natural board, you know, a natural uh, timber, timbers yep. and everything. It's not processed; it's natural, but it, it's attached. This one's separate, and it's just got a thinner board, natural again, and it's covered in the um, bamboo um, hemp kind of material stuff. But it's got straps on, so basically, it's just the board to lay the body on. So when 
uh, when the person gets buried, there's the, um, the three straps on, so there'll be six handles, three on one side, three on the other. So the, um, we'll have the team who's going out to do the burial and they'll just lower down mm -hmm. on the board. The board will stay there and they'll just lower the body in. And the shroud again is just um, wrapped around, but this shroud comes with the, um, it's really clever because we're not going to put a nappy on because it's plastic, you know? Right, yeah. yeah so we can't, can't put, a, put a nappy, nappy on. on because it's not natural. Uh, but this one comes with a, it's like a terry toweling kind of cover, ah. but natural fibers, all cotton, natural yeah. cottons. And it's padded and it comes up and it goes like up between the legs. Oh. So it like covers, you know, yeah. so it's really like basic. So you could have a viewing with that. Yeah, easy. Yeah. So, uh, and I, that wasn't on that other shroud that we had. So that was quite interesting. I was quite like fascinated about that. Now I Googled the the site it came from because I was interested because it's got the name of it's got a lovely nice fancy bag it comes in with and the embroidery on the bag reminds me when you were in the junior school when you were learning to do embroidery so it's got that it's very beautiful uh, so I had a look at their website you know to see you know the stuff that they sell for uh, natural burials and so I knew how to put the shroud on as well as so I'm like it's slightly different to the other one so everything's natural natural fibers so, of course, when I prepare this person, I can't uh, dress them in normal in nylon -y things or anything like that. I can't use nappies. And, of course, we can't use chemicals. So what do you do for your body wash and all that so stuff? So the body wash is just normal because it's just washed. You know, everybody's it, that gets rinsed off. That's not in front of So my uh, preparation is basic body wash. No suturing of the mouth because it's, you know... Uh, it's a waxy cord. It's like dental floss, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it almost. is. So it's, you it know, that's, break down. that won't break down. No eye caps because they're plastic, you know. So basically everything's natural. So washed, prepared him. His eyes are still closed. Closed his eyes. His eyes are still closed. His mouth's slightly open, but it's not too bad. But I'm not going to glue or anything like that because all has to be natural. So he's very clean. Uh, and wrapped up, but it does have just some um, swelling of one of the legs, which has got a little bit of edema, and it's not much, so I'm not going to chemical any of that. All I've done is wrap that leg in blueies until the actual morning of the funeral, and then I'll take them off. So if there's any leakage, it'll go on to the blueies, which is the pads, the hospital pads. Absorbent, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. so, and it's, it's not too bad. So that'll, you know, if there's any um, fluid edema coming out there, they'll just get put in my clinical waste and then we'll wrap him that morning and you'll be fine because, you know, we don't need to put anything on because it's very slight. So it's totally natural, natural everything. Um, so there's no coffin. Right, no. so then how does he get from you to there? So it would be uh, transported in one of the covered vehicles because there's no coffin. Uh, so it'll be more in a covered vehicle that he'll arrive in and on a stretcher because we need the body, Yeah, you know, transported in the vehicle comes so uh, on the stretcher. But, you know, once he's there, it's all going to be natural. So no coffin, none of that. Um, and on the board carried to his Was this a, an elderly side. person or a younger person? Uh, elderly. Right. Yeah. Okay. So a bit older, yeah. Not, not too old though, right. you know. Right, okay. Yeah. So, so these, these options are available now in Australia, which yeah. is lovely and probably around the world. Yeah, and it's, you know, like we don't do many natural burials, you know. It's like the last one was the sea burial. That was all very Which natural. is funny because we get a lot of comments on the channel from people going, oh, why do you bother with all that? They're dead, throw them in a hole. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot of people with that attitude of, yeah. and I mean, obviously there's reasons why families want to view and why it's important to present the deceased. Uh, absolutely. You know, yeah. we understand that. Yeah. But I just think it's funny that there's mm. people with that attitude, yeah. yet not more people just go for the hole, throw them in a hole, which actually is a natural burial. It's a natural burial, that's right. It's I mean, putting them in, in Back that... in the good old days, they used to be out the back of the, you know, yeah. on the property, out that's the back right, there yeah. under the tree and... Yeah. Um, you know, that That's would be it. that, the Just little family around. graves around, you know, yeah. stations and stuff That's here in right. Australia. Yeah, yeah, because when you do travels out through the outback and you go to the little cemeteries, it's just, that's what they're like, aren't they? You go to like where the people are buried on people's land and it's, it's just yeah. a plot. It's really, I quite like 
Yeah. Finding them kind of little things when you do. do I wouldn't like to find one if I just bought the house, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit different perspective. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, so, that's really lovely. So it's really nice. So, yeah, so it just. All and so now uh, that person goes to be part of nature. Part of nature. That's and lovely. What that I person like wanted. So it's all good. Is it dearer? Um, I actually don't know the um, cost, yeah. really, okay. uh, but I, I can't imagine... It, well, there's less stuff, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, I can't imagine there'd be much, it would, you know, buying the shroud might be a bit, I don't know what the company, I don't know what the company But you still have to sells. buy the plot, like buy yeah, the area, don't you? buy the grave. And that's an know. expensive thing compared to cremation. Well, that's right. When you do burials, you've got to buy the plot because, you know, that plot's then been GPS for that one person, so mm. nobody else will get buried on that mm. person. You don't so. accidentally dig them up. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. yeah Interesting. Thank you for sharing that, yeah, Chase, as always. Problems, Never a yeah. dull moment in your job. <laughs> so something different. That's, a, you know, it was nice. It was nice to do something like that. So, yeah. Just please don't write in and ask us if natural burials available in your country because we don't know. Oh, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just um, maybe yeah. Google around and see what you can find out if it's yeah. something you're interested in. That's right. Yeah. I think I might look at that. I like that idea. Yeah, yeah. Have a look at it. It's yes. um, it is a nice uh, one. Like you say, if you you know, like we say, you just throw us in a hole, you know, and that kind of thing. It's the closest to being thrown in a hole. Yeah, put in the hole like Wish that. Somebody yeah. threw me in a hole this morning at about <laughs> eight o'clock today when we yeah. had 10 k's to go yeah that 10 k's was a long 10 k's wasn't it after the 20 there were literally that? tears like it was <laughs> it's a horrible feeling if you don't know what it feels like it's just like you're putting yourself through we're talking about running now yeah, not running. natural burials yeah no. you're putting yourself through the torture and you know you're doing it to yourself and you have this mental battle that your body's going stop yeah. And your mind's going, you've got to keep going. Yeah. And it's, it's just this And your legs are going, tension. I can't do it. And your feet won't Everything's pick up. Everything's aching and hurting and, oh, it's just, oh. So you guys out there that run marathons know what we're talking about. <laughs> and if you don't, you're lucky. Don't take it up. It's hell. They say running's good for you. You should see the two of us try to get out of a car. Oh, God. <laughs> and, you know, after we film here, we'll not be able to stand up well. because we I'm on a backward slope here. I'm not getting up for anyone. <laughs> we'll just run oh. all these videos in. We're going to film three or four today. Yes, let's just run them all under one. Let's just go on. <laughs> all right, guys. See you. next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs>